sorry <coughs> back off allergies going crazy um, this is Raven Ways um, you can find me at astrology for the masses on Facebook and today just a short video on the deck I use professionally with clients for the last 24 years or so and it is called the albano weight here it is some people say albano um, albano albano um, and this is exactly like rider weight except for the fact is is that it's it's just just like rider weight except that the colors are extremely bright now I like um, using bright colors uh, in my in my deck I like that because I think the symbols pop out and that makes it easier for reading and also clients like to look at beautiful cards or cards that you know are very descriptive of what they're experiencing and and with brighter colors like you would see in the Albano Waite deck um, these kinds of colors really really work well uh, in a reading the clients can see the card really easily you can um, it stimulates your psychic mind to pull together um, all those little pieces that are happening in your clients life that you need to to discuss with them you know um, and it you can definitely get the Oracle through uh, in a reading by using very brightly colored cards in my experience okay just a little tip there so when I bought these cards probably well over 20 years ago it's not my first tarot deck but um, it's one that I've used the most um, the back is white and here the colors aren't really you can't really they're not as bright anymore because it's an old deck you can see how it's darkened around the edges it's becoming vintage <laughs> just like me <laughs> um, we're both vintage here uh, so anyways here it is and it's getting a lot older and you can see the front you know the little rays of the sunshine are starting to peel off um, but the power is still there <laughs> and here it is very bright here we go six of Pentacles very bright card lovely isn't it you really you really need to consider this deck um, clients love it because it's so bright here's another one look at the moon oh gosh look at that moon it is quite bright isn't it and some of the colors I mean you know the stream is yellow you know that may not appeal to um, to readers they may not like that they may want their stream in the moon card to be blue some want black you know so really you know think about the colors that you use in your that you use in your deck you know you need to think about it um, so I've used this deck for a long time and I don't really feel finicky about other people handing it so I often if someone says to me oh is that your one of your old decks I say yeah and they say can I see it and I pass it to them and they say oh can I touch it are you sure it's okay um, I wouldn't be worth my salt as a, in the craft if I couldn't purify my cards properly I always purify my cards I actually run them through a stream of incense smoke so I just run them through the through a stream of incense smoke just like this backwards and forwards backwards and forwards backwards and forwards you know and in my brain I'm thinking you know clean the cards off make them fresh um, let let them tell me the truth about the situation you know it's it's very meditative it can last a half hour maybe even longer because I'm sitting there cleaning each card through the incense and um, focusing on the cards being cleansed and ready for the next reading um, what else when I first got this deck I slept with it <laughs> I hope you're not the kind of person that kisses and tells <laughs> anyways um, I don't uh, right but anyways I slept with my deck <gasps> and uh, we got very close and um, since I started sleeping with my deck my you know I think it improves my readings and I feel closer to my deck and I like my deck to always be either on my night table or uh, in the top drawer of my dresser drawers that I really like um, and I usually keep it in a little case like right now I put it in this box the box looks a lot better than the cards can see the color in this look at the some people online call this deck very um, garish but I don't find it garish at all I think it's really important that a card when you when you lay it down on the table it just jumps out at you you know that's what it should be like 
I don't know, everybody has a different opinion. But I just wanted to show you my personal deck. I also, um, like I was saying before, I am a full-time astrologer. Um, I have um, my own Facebook called uh, Facebook page called Astrology for the Masses. So when I do a reading for a client, um, I mainly do astrology, but I also do tarot. And some clients want a combination of both, which I often do. Um, so if you go on my Facebook page, you'll see, you know, lots of videos about me talking about the moons and different signs. Um, I, you know, I post um, little astrology quotes or information about Mercury retrogrades. People can go on that Facebook page and ask me questions about tarot and astrology. Mainly they ask me about astrology, but I'm also, you know, I also know a great deal about tarot because I use it all the time professionally. So um, you can ask questions there um, and you can actually get to Astrology for the Masses um, by clicking the link on my YouTube profile and you'll see it I guess on the right hand side. It says Astrology for the Masses and you can just click on that and just like my page and uh, go ahead and participate on the page because that's cool. Um, also um, as you know um, this I'm a pagan and so if someone is supporting me in my business you're actually supporting a pagan so if you're pagan friendly and you want to support uh, a woman run pagan run business then please uh, book an appointment with me you won't be disappointed I've been doing this for years and no question is too strange and I have all the patients in the world to go through your reading with you very carefully and sensitively so I just want to throw that out there and I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Blessed be. Bye for now.